Thanks to the cheerleaders over at Northview. Welcome back in. Playoff night here in Ohio, but up in Michigan, just week four of their regular season. Bedford making the short drive tonight up to Ann Arbor. Mules 3-0, taking on Celine. Hornets are coached by former Whitmer coach Joe Polka. And of course, he's got those guys playing really well. A short pass here over the middle turns into a 49-yard catch and run touchdown. Mules are forced to play from behind, but Bedford grinding one out. Senior Caden Foster right up the middle. Fight for some big yards down to the 15, and that would set up this. The senior Logan Hollabarger running outside, cuts back in, spins off a tackle. He would score, but Celine runs away with this one tonight, 56 to 14. City League tonight. This is a regular season matchup, just week two for them. Woodward a huge win last week, hosting Bowser tonight. Woodward cheerleaders thrilled to be on the home field. Third quarter of this one, six nothing Woodward. Bowser trying to screen pass but it's sniffed out by Wayne Costner, who makes a great open field tackle, setting up great field position. Following drive, Polar Bears ran it a ton tonight. They give it to that guy again, Cosper. This time he runs it right up the middle, solid first down run, and then later, same drive, different runner. The quarterback, Dominic Chismar, he would keep it 46 yards around the edge, goes all the way in for a touchdown, Woodward wins it 24 to nothing. All right, Division 7 playoffs now, just down 75 from where we are right now. Eden and Arcadia, second quarter, Bombers leading 8-0, looking to add to it. Drew Gallagher, who lobs it up to the end zone. It's picked off by Logan Bowes, Arcadia would take over on, the, uh, on their drive. Facing a fourth and two, they go for it in their own territory. Bombers defense comes up big, and then the Redskins would make them pay. Gallagher keeps it right up the middle, jukes out one defender, shrugs a few more, Eden moves on, they beat Arcadia tonight, 34 to seven. And now we head way out west, Ayersville and Edgerton rematch of week four. The Bulldogs won that one, 42 to six. But it was the Pilots that would strike first in this one. Jacob Trevino, Puff looks deep. Finds Ike Iden down the sideline, fights his way into the end zone, a 36 yard score, Ayersville up seven nothing. Later, Ayersville looking to add some more points on a field goal, but it's Jaron Swan diving in, blocking it, Caden Pasillo. Picks it up, he's off to the races. Gets deep into pilot territory. The Bulldogs have something brewing. That would set up this. Corey Everett gives it to Craig Blue. Scampers in from seven yards out. Bulldogs win it 34 to 22. Also in Division 7, Van Lue making the trip to Patrick Henry. Patriots wasting no time getting on the board in this one. Second play of the game, handed off to Noah Kistner. He would do the rest. 42 yards to the house. Patrick Henry has an early seven nothing lead. Second drive now. The handoff again to Kistner. He would get in again for a score. They extend their lead. And that ground game, just terrific tonight. A 64 yard score here. Patrick Henry would win it big, 51 to 12. Another matchup in Division 7. McComb taking on Upper Sayota Valley. Opening drive of this one, Panthers on offense. Grant Dishong hands it off to Zach Deal, makes his way down the sideline. That's a big first down. And that would lead to this. Stishon heaving one downfield to Kayvon Bailey. He would make the grab. He'd walk into the end zone. It's 7-0 McComb. Later in the half, Sayota Valley trying to get something going. Pass down the middle, but it's picked off by Caden Sherrick. He would get brought down inside the five-yard line, and then in the very next play, they'd capitalize. Nathaniel Miller pushes in for six more. McComb wins big tonight, 41-0. And the last one in Division 7 tonight, North Baltimore taking on Crestview. Opening kickoff of this one, Tigers trying to get some early momentum. An onside kick attempt and they recover it. I absolutely love it. Later on the ensuing drive, Gunnar Kepling finds Zach Wynandy. Scampers down the sideline before being pushed out, but not before a big game there. North Baltimore just couldn't get much going tonight. Crestview would punch it in for six. Tigers fall 69-7. All right, that's going to do it for us. If you missed any of the highlights tonight, make sure you head over to our WTOL YouTube page. And thanks to everybody out of Perrysburg for having us here tonight. Thanks for watching. Charlie's Dodge, Chrysler Jeep Ram, Big Board Friday.